Hi guys! It is April 14th and I'm just getting ready to make supper. Sorry, it's been a long day. I'm not feeling very good today. Um, I have a sore throat and a headache. But I've had several people ask me about my zucchini fries. And I'm going to make them with to go with the pulled pork I have in the crock pot. So I thought I would show you guys a quick little demo of how I make them. Um, this is a recipe from the Weight Watchers site itself. Um, so if you're not a paying member, you won't have access to this recipe, but it's really, really simple. Just a moment, please. I um, do things almost exactly the way it is in the recipe, and I'll walk you through what I do and how it's different. But um, they're really good. My kids love them. I love them. I literally could eat the whole tray. They're so yummy. Um, my next project is going to be to try these with green beans. Um, I've seen another recipe with green beans that I think would be really good. So I'm going to flip you around, show you what I got, show you how to do it. Okay, so I have two not large but not medium i mean it's kind of hard this time of year to find decent zucchinis in the store but uh, we like them on the smaller side um, they tend to get more crunchy and you kind of feel like you're getting more so i have two zucchinis that i've cut up and if there's any spots like this one if you can see that have like a lot of seeds i just take those out um, it just helps them and then i caught these this afternoon and I just put them on this tray with paper towels and I put a little bit of salt on the top just so they could start releasing some of their liquid and dry out a little bit. Um, just so they get crispier and it also helps the breading stick to them a little bit better. So that's the zucchini. In this tub right here I have, now this is one of the ways I changed the recipe a little bit. I had a bag of these croutons, which are our absolute favorite, and I ate the last few croutons for lunch, and there was all these crunchy bits in the bottom that I felt really bad throwing away. So I weighed those out, and there was 21 grams, sorry about that, okay, so there was 21 grams left of the crouton bits. And so I looked up 21 grams of the panko, which is what I used for breadcrumbs in here. And 21 grams of each was the same amount of points. So I just measured out three quarters of a cup, which is what the recipe called. And I just did however much of the panko and then I put the rest of the crouton bits in to make a total of three quarters of a cup so I didn't use any more breading than it said I just used a combo of both just because these taste so good so and the panko that I have are unflavored they're just panko there's no seasoning or anything on them so I also just put some salt and pepper in here and then I added two tablespoons of grated parmesan cheese just regular store-bought Parmesan cheese and I added it to the recipe maker and it did not add any extra points so I only used two tablespoons that's what's in here in here there is two egg whites and some salt and pepper and I just need to stir that up with a fork in the recipe it says to beat until it forms like a stiff peak I have found that it actually sticks better this way um, but the amounts are the same, so you can choose to do whatever you want. I've done it both ways. Um, I just find this way helps the breading stick better. And then in here is just one and a third tablespoon, one and three quarters tablespoon of regular all-purpose flour, salt, pepper, and garlic powder. So I changed a few things, but not really. Um, so you can really do this. Um, any way you want but everything I added does not add any um, points to the recipe the recipe is for four servings 
and with I have 28 zucchini sticks here so four servings would be seven fries per serving so that's pretty decent um, and it's three points for those seven pieces so I am going to whip these up and I'll show you the next step okay guys so all I did was stir this up with a fork just so that it's broken down so that the membranes have kind of broken down I took the paper towels and the zucchini off the sheet pan and I gave the sheet pan a little spray with some cooking spray so all you're gonna do and I'll show you a couple and then I'll turn it off um, you're gonna dip them in the flour shake as much off as you can into the egg whites and you want to do this fairly quick before into the egg white and into the bread. Now, who doesn't know how to bread? It's pretty simple. Knock everything off. That's just some of the egg white. And that's what it's going to look like. I'm going to put this on the cooking sheet and I'm going to do the rest of them. Pretty simple. It's a really simple, it's a little time consuming, but I promise you it is so, so worth it. They're so tasty. We, we eat them, I'd say almost once a week. We really like them. This egg white is really snotty tonight. Okay, so I'm going to finish the rest and then I will let you see the finished product. Alright guys, so I barely had enough. <laughs> I did have to add some water to the egg whites. Um, I use farm fresh eggs from my mom. My mom has chickens at her house and I find that the whites are a little, they're just really strong because they haven't, I hate to even say this, when you buy eggs in the store, um, they've probably been sitting on the shelf for a good month or two. Um, so they've kind of had a chance to break down a little bit. These were literally hatched maybe four days ago. My mom just brought them last night. So the whites are really tough, meaning they stick together really well. So I just added maybe a tablespoon of water in here and mixed it up again. Um, cause I was having trouble the first few I did, they were kind of for lack of a better word, a little snotty. They were just, it was just really sticking. So this is what I had left. So if you don't think it's enough, it is. And then this is what they look like. And I'm going to spray the top of them with cooking spray. And then I'm going to cook them at like 375 for about 10 minutes. And that's it. And I will show you what they look like when they're done. Alright guys, here's the finished product. Oh my goodness, they smell so good. Nice and crispy. And I'm going to get my plate plated up and I will show you what I'm having for dinner. Um, there is 28 here. 28 divided by 4 is 7 pieces. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So all of these for 3 points. That's pretty good. Um... Hold on, I'll be right back to show you my plate. Alright guys, here's what I'm having for supper. I have <clears throat> about a half a cup of pulled pork that I've been cooking. It's just two, uh, a little two pound lean pork tenderloin that I put in the crock pot this morning with just salt and pepper, garlic powder, and a little bit of thyme. Um, it cooked all day. I made a homemade barbecue sauce. Um... And then I just mixed it in and it's been sitting in the barbecue sauce for about half an hour. The seven zucchini fries. So this is two points for the pork, one point for the barbecue sauce, three points for the zucchini fries. And then I have just a little salad with one tablespoon 
of the Skinny Kitchen Ranch, which is still one point. Um, I might have the second tablespoon that is a serving to dip my ranch, my zucchini fries in. Because um, with the ranch, you can have two tablespoons for one point. And there's only one tablespoon on the salad. So I'll probably use the other tablespoon to dip my fries in. So this whole dinner, three, three is six, seven for the ranch. So the whole plate is seven points. So not a bad supper for seven points. Thanks for watching, guys. And I won't be able to link the recipe, um, but I can write the recipe in the description box for the fries. Have a great day, and I'll see you again real soon.